The key recommendation I make in my chapter is for government policy to not focus only on university industry relationships because many universities are now talking about technology transfer and focus on formal sector institutions or business startups. They also need to look at the possibility of transferring technology to the informal artisans and working with the informal artisans to develop new technologies. So you need not just horizontal uh, integration, university to industry, but also vertical integration, university to informal sector and vice versa. I think one of the most interesting uh, studies in the book is a case study of the collaborative dynamics between formal and informal sectors actors in Kampala, Uganda. We see evidence of informal automotive repair people engaging with engineers and designers at Makerere University sharing ideas, sharing trade secrets, and developing innovation in a very collaborative and open way. I did study the informal sector in the automotive engineering with a specific focus on uh, a new electric vehicle project at the College of Engineering, Technology, Arts and Design at Macquarie University. And uh, this uh, project is particularly interesting because it, it brings together formal sector researchers at the university interacting with the informal artisans. The artisans in the informal sector we are responsible for uh, translating uh, some of the designs uh, or models for this car into actual products and pieces that they were able to put together to create or form the car. So that we thought was a, an important contribution. It is an important innovation. In this relationship, intellectual property is important and not important at the same time. It is not important because the artisans are not interested or need, not even aware of what intellectual, formal intellectual property we know in terms of patents, in terms of copyright or trademark. Uh, they are not interested and are not aware of what that is. What they are interested in or what they are fascinated about is the idea that professors with formal training, PhDs in engineering and design are coming to them to translate their ideas into a product. IP is involved because uh, the professors and engineers are interested in making sure that their designs are not appropriated or misappropriated by the artisans. So they get them to sign memorandum of understandings uh, where obviously IP is one of the issues addressed and they are, the artisans are expected not to share this information or designs with other people. The study on automotive engineering in Uganda demonstrates collaborative dynamics between formal and informal sector actors where you have people with the expertise on the ground to design and repair vehicles that work exchanging ideas in collaboration with staff, researchers, and professors at Makerere University. So we see a real collaborative dynamic between formal and informal sectors, and they exist in a symbiotic relationship. One depends upon the other. 